Now, let's understand the fourth component of Google Dialogflow that is fulfillment or in a broader sense communication to the outside world of Dialogflow. So first let's understand with a flowchart how this works. User writes something to Dialogflow. Dialogflow doesn't have answer for that. In that case, Dialogflow will send a request to a server. And since we are working on this project, the server will be our own server. Our server will interact with external things like database. It can be APIs. It can be anything. Get the response back on the server and send response to Dialogflow again. And Dialogflow will show that information to user. So I hope this is clear to you that fulfillment or webhook means communication to the outside world. User writes something. Dialogflow sends a request. With that request, it also sends some data. Our own server process the data. In case there is a need, communicate with database or other APIs and then generate a response and send it back to Dialogflow. And Dialogflow in turn show it to the user. So this is how fulfillment works on Google Dialogflow. In the next video, let's create our own server and connect it to Google Dialogflow.